What's up guys, Giggles here. So before I start, if you guys haven't watched the 20 minute long video titled I'm Sorry that Sam Pepper has been hyping up for a couple of days, yeah, I, I wouldn't really recommend it just because it's kind of 20 minutes of going on and on. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a little TLDR version of it here uh, in just a quick minute or two, give my little summary of it and then my little opinion and then that'll be that. So hopefully I'll save you guys some time. First of all, he denied any kinds of allegations uh, of sex crimes or being a rapist. He mentioned that he's been with his girlfriend of a year and a half and that he's constantly having to deal with the fact that the internet is calling him a rapist and he still denies absolutely everything and that it's all bullshit. So he only spent about a minute talking about in that video. Uh, for me anyway, that's what I was hoping the video would be about, but it wasn't. Most of the video was actually about the fact that uh, he was unhappy with the way that he was making his content. He was unhappy with the direction that his pranks were going. He didn't like them. He didn't like dealing with the hatred. Uh, he wanted to do everything he could to kind of stay edgy and stay at the top. And it brought a lot of hatred to his channel and it kind of changed him, you know, blah, 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 kind of going on and on about that for about 15 minutes in the video. He kind of summarized things with saying that um, he wants a second chance, that he is not happy with the way that he's done things. He thinks that most of the videos that he's made don't represent him as a person and he's going to keep them down. He's going to re-upload a couple of the videos that say that he said um, do represent him in a good characteristic, but he said a lot of his old videos he will keep down. Who knows if he's going to stick to that with the truth. And he's going to try essentially a Sam Pepper 2.0 type thing where he's going to try to, you know, not do the things that he's done in the past. And he's asking his viewers and his fans for a second chance. So that is what the video spent most of the time talking about. So yeah, there you go. That was about 20 minutes and about, what was that? A little under two minutes. So my opinion on it, I was a little bit disappointed. I think that the video could have been a lot shorter. Obviously, he did an uncut version of it, so he just kind of went from the heart, which is, you know, fine. Good for him, I guess. Do I still like Sam Pepper? Do I still think he's a great guy? I think he's still a bit of a sleazy person. I think that, you know, everyone is accountable for their actions. I've done some fucked up things before. I am banned from Twitch because of some fucked up things that I have done, and I take full accountability for them, and I'm never allowed back on the site again, and I accept that. There's a lot of people that don't like me because of the things that I've done, and I take full accountability for them, and that's just part of life, you know? When you have an action, there's a reaction, and you just you have to deal with it. That's the way it is, you know? So, yes, you can ask people for a second chance, and some people will give you a second chance, but Sam Pepper, unfortunately, some people will not give you a second chance. Some people have not given me a second chance, and that's just something that you have to accept because of the things that you've done. Will I give him a second chance? I'm still not sure yet. I really don't know. Sure, I'll take a look at his upcoming content. I'll take a look and see how it is, but am I going to be a big fanboy of the guy? Probably not. Anyway, that's my little assessment of the situation. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, check out my other videos, comment below. Anything you guys feel like talking about feel free to comment and uh i'll be back with another video soon so take care everyone i'll see you all next time